General Electric may be striking some big international deals, but it remains based right here in the United States. Elsewhere this year, there have been an unprecedented number of so-called corporate inversions, with U.S. companies moving their corporate tax bases overseas to save millions. And today, the biggest one of all was announced. Meg Terrell has the story. From Chicago deep dish to fish and chips, drug maker AbbVie is packing up and moving overseas. The company's paying more than $54 billion for Dublin-based Shire and says its tax rate will sink to 13 percent by 2016, from about 22 percent now. It's the latest in a wave of so-called inversion deals. Analysts say it's likely to increase already mounting scrutiny from Washington on the practice and put pressure on competitors to seek similar deals. It certainly raises the pressure on the companies who have not inverted yet to do it. If you are a U.S. domicile company with some cash restriction, you're becoming you more and more of your peers are in an advantage over you um, when it comes to acquisition, when it comes to paying taxes. And if they buy you, as they might, uh, they will enjoy the tax benefits. So you better move overseas yourself. Earlier this week, drug maker Mylan bought assets from Abbott Laboratories that will enable it to incorporate in the Netherlands and benefit from a lower tax rate. Abbott CEO Miles White today stirred rumors that it may be the next to do such a deal when he took a stand on corporate inversions in an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal. Analysts say the AbbVie Shire deal also has implications for another area of health care, companies that make drugs for rare or so-called orphan diseases. Shire has been building up that part of its business, and AbbVie is expected to continue to do deals in the space. AbbVie paid so much for Shire primarily because of its rare disease uh, orphan indication franchise. It's about half the company. Those are drugs are being priced very, very high and treat a very small group of patients. They generally provide high benefit to uh, the patients, and, and therefore there's limited pressure to control the prices of those drugs. It's a very attractive business from the perspective of drug companies. Gal suggests drug makers from Biomarin, Sobe, Biochrist, Diax, and NPS Pharma as potential acquisition targets. It all spells more deal-making for pharmaceutical companies. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.